Do you ever fantasize about being killed? Okay, we're here with the infamous Lene Quigley that everybody loves. Tell that. Except you know who. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we've been wanting to ask you to come by, but you've been nonstop busy at the booth the whole weekend, which yeah. is understandable. Well, know. thank you. It's been a great show, and everybody except one drunk was amazing. <laughs> Did he give you some trouble? He gave some trouble, but we saw him get. We got our revenge because we saw him go down the escalator head first. No. What? Casino style. It was style. wild. Wow. Karma. It was wild, <laughs> yes. He was like going back and forth on the floor here, but on the escalators, like, go, like we're like, uh-oh. And it's like watching an accident happen. You're just like transfixed. You can't do anything. <laughs> and then boom, you know? Wow. Oh, he fell on his own. Oh, my God, I'm did it. Huh? Like, yeah. <laughs> it was a bad. Wow. So I'll give you a quick background of what we do. Our show, we, you know, we obviously we have the horror show, but we travel to the locations where everything was filmed. That's why I was asking those Ooh. questions yesterday. So a lot of the questions we ask sometimes have to do with the production. Okay. You know, which is maybe a little different than what you've done. I know yeah. we've seen you answer so many of the other normal questions a million times. So I don't want to bore you. Yeah. Oh, well, thank you. Well, we're probably going to have to a little bit because not everybody would know the basics. Exactly. you got to teach them. Oh, okay. Demask. I'm, I'm like, why does my voice sound muffled? <laughs> I wonder why. <laughs> Habit. Trying to get used to it, but it's just not working. Yeah. So, Return of the Living Dead. Obviously, you played Trash, the most iconic role. Well, yeah, Trash played me, though, really. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you noticed, but Lauren takes your spot in the... Uh, and the posters. She's great. I love that. She fits in. She looks like a trash. She? <laughs> Photoshop is great. Yeah. It's really, I love that. It's very cool. Uh, when we're done, I'm gonna, I'll have you look at the other side. We have two different posters. The other one is the, like the standard Return of the Living Dead. Oh, wow. With the tombstone and stuff. So where we got the name from is the soundtrack was 45 Grave, yeah. the main song. And 1985, to me, is like the best year for horror. Yes. And Return of the Living Dead was made in 85. So to me, Return of the Living Dead was the best film of the best year. So that's where our name comes from. It's that's where it comes from. Okay, 85 Grave. Yes. Okay, got it. Yes. That's yes. perfect. I like that. That was thinking. It's yeah. a little bit of plagiarism, but it's, it's an homage. <laughs> it's nice. <laughs> so with the production of the film, we know the most of it. Like you guys were in the rain for many days. and nice. of, Yeah. So the rumor was that the the dancing scene on that on that tombstone or uh, the, whatever that you call that the rumor i had heard from multiple people was that this was shot in kentucky so i was out in kentucky and they and i went to the cemetery and i spent what a day and a half there and i was like man I, I mean and when i'm looking for something i'm checking everything i'm checking skylines and everything to try wow. to find it yeah. come to find out it was not shot in no kentucky. no everybody wanted to say it was kentucky and you know Louisville and all that, but it was done in an olive grove in Simi Valley that they made into a graveyard. So this is not the same one that was in the cul-de-sac, right near the Unita Medical Supply no, Building. No, no, it's was like a one. we would go up to that door mm -hmm. where on the other side there was train tracks, oh, and yeah. there was like nothing but train tracks over there. So we had to like, you know, like when you see us like coming into the actual graveyard it's Simi Valley okay I, I which is probably that. all houses now I'm sure it is yeah it is it's like there's no sense even really going it's literally just houses <laughs> that's sad and the uh, the cul-de-sac obviously I don't know what was there before but there's a UPS store there now like oh no a, a, a whole UPS shipping well the the cul-de-sac is still there you guys built the the, the front of the cemetery. Yes, yes. So behind that, I don't, you say it was it, just... There was a train that yeah. ran through and we had to stop filming because it was loud. Wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> and then the building, the Unita Medical Supply building, 
we were we when we filmed it because we already did the episode for our show of Return of the Living Dead, so we already did the locations and everything, and we found out that people live there because I was there flying the drone up trying to get really good shots of it, and the people got pissed off. People and, live there? Yeah, they live in it. It's like a really nice <laughs> house now, or some kind of. I think it's the only one. Is it house. lofts or something? Lofts, or? yeah, lofts. Oh he, wow, nice. Now. Yeah, it's pretty cool. I wonder if they know the history of it. I bet they just wonder, why is everybody always coming here to film our... <laughs> You're right. <laughs> like, what's going on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's spies. Yeah. So, tell me a little bit about Night of the Demons. Oh, what do you want to know about Night of the Demons? Tell me about the production. Tell me about what it was like on set. Any cool things like we should go look for? I didn't see anything cool. I just know that... It's horrible, but they turned it into a Ralph's now. They tore down the house. Oh, okay. Because it was an actual cool house. Yeah. That hadn't been lived in for a long time. I don't know who owned it or anything, but it should have been a historical monument. Yeah. I think. And it was in the worst part of L.A. where the gang members are. So we had to have security. Yeah. Because we filmed all night until the morning. And I w I'm just sad that they tore it down. Yeah, that's that's always sad, especially for people like us that want to go find these places. It's bad enough a lot of things are just built. They're just it facades. But and it also was like it had in the movie it almost had a its own like place. You know, it was like a living, breathing house or something and now it's not there. Wow. Yeah. So back to uh, Return of the Living Dead, did you I know you I know you um, and you probably see a lot of people a lot of the cast in these conventions, but did you, were you guys pretty close, like for the, at least the first few years after that? Not really, everybody kind of went their own way after it. I didn't see anybody, the only one I saw was like, you know, Steve Johnson, who I married for a couple <laughs> years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, but until like conventions started to really take, like maybe eight years ago, yeah. we all like, rediscovered each other and it's interesting how everybody was doing different things like the one guy um, Lance mm -hmm. who I poked out his eyes <laughs> he's a chiropractor now and he adjusted me it was great no way. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. and you actually went to him yes yeah. well he actually adjusted me when we were in Riverside okay wow and he was good yeah and he saw Tom over there yeah yeah. Oh wait, I'm thinking of the wrong movie. Yeah, it's no, okay. That's okay. I get no, them mixed up sometimes. You know you work with them. Yeah. Exactly, different people yeah. I worked with. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah we, we picked up on it. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a long weekend. It has, especially for you. Like I said. Oh yeah. 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 You have a lot of fans. Oh, thanks. <laughs> including us, especially yeah. us. As we notice, like you take a lot of time with them and like talk to them thoroughly. And I know I'm not awesome. like I'm not like John Cusack who. What? what about him? Because he, we like him, and so this I will like bum me too, out. We don't know him. We, we were in Atlanta, him. and he wore like a trench coat with a hoodie, and then a baseball cap on top of it, <laughs> and would look down when he walked, and then he just like would sign and like not really look at the people. Oh wow, really? So oh, it's kind of my. awkward. Maybe he's really shy. Maybe. I don't know. Okay, I'm not. Well, sure. I'm gonna go with that's very diplomatic. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it would be very hard for him to be shy. I do know. what he does, right? I know. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that sucks because he's like uh, 1408, that yeah. movie. That's one of our favorite movies. Oh, yeah. And our, where we have our studio, the door that enters the studio is painted green with the 1408 on it. No way. Yeah. Oh, my God. We love that movie. Yeah. yeah. Wow. So we love him, but yeah. We love his, him as an actor. I think he's yeah. just shy. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with that. If you're watching this, John, we, we, we know you're just shy. <laughs> yes. We gave you a, like a little um, advertisement here. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> So people will have you at their conventions. <laughs> so they had Tom. We, we interviewed Tom a little bit ago. He came over. Obviously him and... What's his name? James? Oh, James. Wait. James Karen. James Karen. Yeah, I can't think of his last name. I keep wanting to say Frank. I don't know why. That's his, because that's his like, yeah, okay. character. Yeah. 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 So James Karen. So they, they got asked to do part two. Did you get asked to do it? No. And they told us all, well, if you work... You know, you can be in the second one, which they told us in Night of the Demons, too, but that never happened. No? So have you watched any of the other ones? No. None of the other no. ones? No, because I was mad. Oh. <laughs> well, if 
it makes you feel any better, we watched all six of them, what, last year? Yeah. Six? There's, there's at six. least, yeah, that, that's the ones we know of. Oh and my I, God. Yeah, there's a lot of them. And they get progressively um, <laughs> shy. Uh oh. <laughs> well, that I don't really know of any um, sequel that's really. It, it's not really a sequel. No. The part two. Or remakes. Or yeah. Whatever. Well, the part two has James and Tom in right. it. Right. But they have diff they're different characters, but they still kind of kept that dynamic between the two of them. Okay, that's. Cool. Yeah. So James Karen's like a he robs graves and he brings Joey instead of Freddie. He brings him with him to uh, help him, you know steal rings and stuff off of bodies Ew, out of them. that's creepy. Yeah, and then, of course, you know, I'm sure you can guess where it goes from there. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, I can. Yeah. So, they never asked you to do it. I can't believe that they no. wouldn't ask you to be After him. we did all that cold, long-hour shoots. Well, not only that, but those movies wouldn't even be conceivable without what you guys did. Yep. Interesting. You guys yeah. built the name. That's right, we yeah. did. Yeah, well, I, would, I would be grumpy too, so. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, ah, I'm not watching them. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I would be petty. Petty? Tom I petty. wonder what James and Tom did to get in the <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> Casting couch? <laughs> <laughs> Casting coffin? <laughs> yes! Oh my Casting God. coffin! I know. Somebody out there is going to have that website like as soon as uh, they see this. Probably. <laughs> you grab it real quick. <laughs> I know. So you um, you do the conventions. You you do a lot of them? Yeah. I mean, this is my second one this year because of COVID. Yeah, I yeah. know. But yeah, I do. Do, do you travel yeah. even now east and everything? Oh, yeah. I go out east uh, in November 7th, oh. Allentown. Okay. Yep. Yay. Yep. Hell yeah. What, what convention is that one? It's called, I don't know the no. exact name, but oh. it, it's something called a pop-up convention oh. where they have them in parking lots, but they're supposed to, maybe it sounds really crazy. I hope it's cool, yeah. It's I'm going to bring a big jacket. It'll be cold. Oh, yeah. In Pennsylvania, yeah, it's going to be. Yeah, cold in here. I know. We're going to be, I'm yeah. going to be cold. going to be yeah. in big trouble there. Yeah. <laughs> so I could ask you a million questions, but I want to let you get back to your booth. As far as like projects that you've filmed recently or that you have coming up, what do you got coming up? Oh my God, we just, I produced, directed, was in a episodic thing for my channel. I have a channel on YouTube, which really? is under Dragon Flix, F -L -I -X dot biz, B-I-Z. And we did an episodic thing called Zombie Games instead of Hunger Games. And we're wearing, we have drones, we have body cams. It was like 80 okay. scenes in three days. Really? In the okay. wilderness. Oh my we God. We need to check this out. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll find it's you. It's being edited right now in, oh, okay. in the UK, so. But go to the YouTube. We'll go to YouTube. Yeah. We'll, we'll, and we'll post it up on our show so thank that people you. can get to it. Okay. Oh, thank, you. thank you. Yeah, for being here and everything. It's a cool channel, actually. I can't wait. Sounds cool. Yeah. So you produced it, you directed it and everything? It was like so tired. <laughs> oh my god, it was so hard. But yeah. I did it. It sounds in, yeah. 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 What is that? Oh, I thought. I thought oh, that's me. Ringing. Oh, okay. I thought, it was, house I thought it was some batteries dying or something yeah. somewhere. I know, it does sound like it. <laughs> yeah. We're running off of just a little little battery pack, all this. Wow. <laughs> yeah. You're do doing you it. Do. Yeah, doing we gotta it. do it. So, um, is that is that everything you do? Doing films and. Yeah, what, what about, and I was just uh, in New Zealand. It's coming out like, oh God, they're kicking us out. Um, uh oh, it's, uh, that was my light. Oh, it, well, oh God, yeah. I thought, oh no, <laughs> the world's going to shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Buzz Cut Buzz that Cut. I did in New Zealand. It's a little film, and Donna Wilkes is in it from really? Jaws too. Yeah, yeah. Nice. Very so, cool. When does that come out? When does that come out? I think Halloween. Oh. oh yeah. I mean, I was supposed to go to the premiere, but I can't get over there because the border's closed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm yeah. really disappointed. Yeah. So anybody who's looking to cast you in films, do you have an agent? Do they contact yeah. you direct? Yeah. Um, she's at Judy Fox at msn.net. Okay. Cool. Yeah. Very cool. Okay. Oh, wait. Judy Fox, personal talent management, PTM at... MSN.com, we'll, sorry. We'll find it and we'll... Okay. And it's probably on your IMDb, IMDb page? I hope so. Yeah. 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 I hope. We'll find it and we'll put a screen Thank up you. there. And then uh, 
we'll get your stuff so I can tag you with it when, or I can send it to you when we when we uh, post this up. Okay. So you can see the show. Okay. So well, thank you so well, much for coming guys. here. Like you it's guys a, are great. It's a true honor. Our you're the namesake of our whole show. Wow. And you're only the third person to interview for us. So well, we, you guys are good. We appreciate thank you. you. Thank, thank you. you so much. Okay, you're thank good you. Good luck. And we'll, I'll see you at another show. Yes, Definitely. I hope so. Definitely. We will. All right. Bye. Oops, I got to take these off. <laughs> How many people like walk away? It's like it's like so embarrassing like when you get your gas at the pump and then you drive away. It's like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.